This road leads to a small city called Mitrovica, where two very different groups of people live together. In this modest part of northern Kosovo, education and health, currencies, license plates, and even how the name of the city is spelled are different. Tensions here peaked during the Kosovo War in 1999 between Albanians and Serbs, when Mitrovica became a scene of ethnic violence and conflict. It was only after the arrival of NATO troops that the war was brought relatively under control. And in arriving, I think it's very good to calm and uh, to try uh, to find a solution and to separate uh, uh, people here. The city is now governed by Albanian and Serbian Kosovo through two municipalities. Even though North Mitrovica enjoys a certain autonomy under the Serbs, it is still dependent on Kosovo institutions in legal and security matters. The conflict seems mainly political, but the problem is deep-rooted. Uh, conflicts between Albanians and Serbs are centuries old, and they have never recovered. There was a period of communist under Tito, time, communist time under Tito, where there was some, uh, some peace, but historically there has been never peace. Never, Albanians and Serbs have never signed a peace deal, peace treaty. They've been fighting each other. Branislav Kristic had to flee to the Serb-populated North Kosovo during the war. People are tired, but some still think about the past. The reality is that we are living together. We are waiting for the political elite to come up with a decision. The story isn't any different for Husni Sila. Once a resident in the North, the fighting forced him out of his home. A solution could be found if politics allowed people to cooperate and live together. Then Mitrovica would be one city. But I don't expect to see this solution anytime soon. The bridge in the middle of Mitrovica is, in effect, a border crossing with police patrols on opposite ends. This bridge marks the divide between Kosovars and Serbs. Pristina is seeking recognition as a sovereign state and Belgrade wants autonomy for Serbs living in Kosovo. The international community is still in search of a solution to the conflict. The European Union has been mediating between Kosovo's and Serbs since 2011 for the normalization of ties. But a 100% tariff slapped on Serbian goods last year brought the talks to a standstill. Look, uh, at the end of the day, it's up to the two parties to decide how fast they want to join the EU. The EU is uh, a club, so we will never push on either sides, and we will never prescribe how fast should be this process. We have put the conditionalities, and they are put into the Stabilization and Cessation Agreement very clearly, especially for Kosovo in the European Reform Agenda, and it's up to the two sides to decide how fast they want to progress on that track. Mitrovica serves as a reminder of the conflict, but it also represents hope of a growing interest in reconciliation. For that to happen, though, a lot more work still needs to be done. Yunus Paksoy, Tiat World, Mitrovica, Kosovo.